how's it going? This is Roy with Talk Soul Central RTV Style. And tonight we have a photography show. And I'm bringing my buddy Anthony Medina, which he is coming on now. Hey, Anthony, how's it going? You doing all right, man? Yeah, so far so good. I mean, there coming towards the end of the day. So. Yeah. Well, welcome, photographer Anthony Medina. So, what's up, big guy? What's going on with you? I mean, today was a lazy Sunday, so uh, <laughs> nothing happened today. <laughs> but it's been a busy week, very busy yeah. week. Um, yeah, um, I mean, for, especially in photography. Um, a lot of people uh, wanted to catch up, uh, wanted to get a lot of things started after COVID. Um, and COVID was a slow year, so everybody wants to get booming again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially in, in what you do, you you handle advertising yes, and marketing and that kind of that you know different strategies than just being a normal photographer taking baby pictures and you know family reunions and weddings and quinceañeras. It's a totally different ball game. Oh, yeah. My background's in that area, you know, more mm-hmm. portrait stuff. But you, man, you. Man, you got some amazing work, as we saw on the on the clip right now. Is the I mean, your your subject is could be two thousand acres. <laughs> yeah, it, it changes. It, it changes. Um, um, I can start the morning with, uh, for, uh, you know, like you said, you know, uh, twelve hundred acre ranches, or it could go to uh, a house or some uh, you know, like a new development on South Padre Island. So yeah. it changes. Well, so man, and, and so you're you're shooting every day of the week. Yes, sir. Wow. And and so how long are, are these are for instance uh, let's say you're shooting a ranch, you know, mm-hmm. uh how much time do you take? How, how much time is involved? Uh, you know, uh, other than the driving and all that, but you know, how how much time? Or, or, or start from the beginning. You, you leave your office and you know, how much time does it take by the time you come back home? Oh man, um, I could leave as early as three o'clock in the morning uh, to go photograph a ranch, uh, let's say in you know San Manuel or uh, Hebronville or San Isidro, um, you know to capture the sunset and you know good good light. I, I love uh, morning hours and, and uh, uh, golden hours is what I call them. Yeah, um, and um, they could come. In, I could be out as late as man nine ten p.m. Wow. So, yeah, the ranches, ranches, it differs. Um, I do ranches with uh, realtors. Um, and if I'm with a realtor, th- there'll be short sessions. I'll be out there for about maybe three, four hours. Uh, but if it's a really detailed, they want me to get, you know, capture the the true, I guess, nature of the the property. It'll take me two, three days. So, wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think one time we were having lunch and you were talking about, you know, you having different cameras at different times and time exposures and all of that. Yeah. Or, or you set up you set up cameras and you come back like two big two days later and you know, yeah. you're hoping for a picture or a certain image that you're going for based yeah, on weather time-lapse. and based on temperature and time and all that. Yeah, I have uh, I have time lapse cameras that I set up. Um, I usually set those like in ponds or in place where I know I'm gonna capture some wildlife. Yeah. Um, and some beautiful sunsets and sunrises as well. I've done some shoots where um, I put it right over a, a pond, and you'll see all the nature or all the wildlife just coming up to the water. Um, so yeah, I mean anything, anything really. Uh, drone, aerial photography is, is another thing. Ranchers love. Um, you know, they get to capture the true size of their property. Right. Um, right. So. Yeah, because yeah. it would be hard to describe, you know, you know, to a potential buyer. Oh, you're buying a, you know, whatever a hundred mm-hmm. acre ranch, and you know, okay, well, it's a hundred acre ranch, but you know, oh, well, tell me about oh, there's this little tree, that little tree, but no, it, it's gotta like you, you gotta make nature come alive yeah. in in minutes, you know, oh, yeah. or, or in seconds, and and it's gotta be appealing to the buyer to where they they fall in love with a property just based on your work man yeah and see one, one thing that that people uh, i guess not people but like potential clients yeah. i tell them like look we need to have a meet and greet i need to know what we're shooting you know i need to look at the property first before anything uh they go, oh well, you just take pictures i'm like no it's 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 not that easy <laughs> it's not right, right. 
I, I need to know. I, I need to take a look at the property. I need to take a look at the size of it. I need to look at, you know, and, and uh, yeah, because it, it differs. Uh, I mean, a 1,200-acre ranch, and, you, you know, shooting one 1,200-acre ranch to another 1,200-acre ranch, completely different. You're yeah. looking at terrain. You're looking at land features. You're looking at, you know, bodies of water. I mean, er- everything changes. Uh, so that's that's what I think makes my job challenging. Uh, in that, you know, because it's a, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of people want to go, 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 go to the pictures and, and bring them to me, edit them, and then you know we're done. Like it's, it's not that easy. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, just finding the right shot, you know, the right angle, and like you said, you know, if you, uh, you know, you said, oh, well, you, you, you we'll have you, we'll have some wildlife, and you know, mm-hmm. and, and you have no pictures of it, you know, it's like, you know, or really, where is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or you know like the, one of the pictures that you posted with me on uh or with me with my camera that was taken uh, at a ranch that i was uh, shooting that one took three days uh, uh, let me see let me see where is it where is it oh yeah yeah here we go let's let's show that again you can tell tell us a little bit about that let me share some pictures and of course you, you got you send me in some pictures so here we mm-hmm. go uh so yeah this shot here that yeah. that's you 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 definitely wide angle there going and looking at you know and uh, looking at everything up back behind you how many acres is that this one was uh 792 acres uh this one it was actually over uh towards the northwest side of uh edinburgh um, wow. yeah the developer he has some you know beautiful lots out there um and uh they he's looking to sell different parts of it uh, what for the smallest one starts at 10 acres and then the other ones, I mean, I think they go up to, I think there's one with like 72 acres. I'm not really totally sure on that one, wow, man. Uh, but that one was on day three. Actually, the weather was really coming in. The, the clouds were coming in, which looked great on yeah. a, um, uh, on a time-lapse camera. Cause it, you show all the, um, you know, the movement there. But first shot, first day, we caught deer. We caught a beautiful shot of the birds uh, flying over the ponds. Uh, so yeah, it was it was it was gorgeous. Hey, Araceli, how's it going? How you doing? Araceli is a Tejano diva. She sings. Uh, she's also a painter, and I bet you she does a little bit of photography too. Oh <laughs> huh? uh, man, so so yeah. Uh, and there's uh, I think there's this picture that. Yeah, here, here we go. Let me show you this one here. Um, uh, you know, because some of it's not just it's not just farms and ranches, but you also uh, do, you know, like for instance, this. Oh, yeah. Tell us I about, I mean, obviously you did this, you know, this is a more marketing, industrial type of. Yeah, well, that, this one, this with a little one. little bit of farming. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, th- these, I mean. It you got to have that that moment, and that's what I call those. Uh, I, uh, these are um, beautiful shots, and and yeah. the reason I think is because it's it's those in the moment. Yeah, uh, the wind was coming in, and the storm was coming in, and the, I I love. I mean, I think you see my work. Yeah. I love taking pictures of storms coming in. I love yeah, it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's I think that's one of my niches in photography. I love lightning. I love you know the. The, the trees leaning over and and uh, from the wind and the, I mean it's just beautiful. Uh, and on this one, I, I like the mixture of the darkness, kind of like coming over the light. Um, yeah, Anasali so, loves it. She says beautiful. She also says I need a photographer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who knows, man? You might shoot her her album cover. <laughs> yeah, never know. Never, you never know. know. But but yeah, man. I mean, just the detail, I, especially the skies are hard to photograph, Anthony. You know yeah. that. Yeah, uh, and, and, I'll pull uh, over, you know, and, uh, and you know I've taken trips, and yeah. I mean that that trip, which was normally you know a three hour trip, would become a four and a half hour trip. Um, you know, just because I'll pull over and you know just set up my camera and start clicking. Right, and it's you know one of these where uh, hold on, there it is. Okay, cool. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, let me show you another one here. Let me stop sharing this and let me show you another one where, uh, man, where is it? Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, uh, 
Oh, I don't know about this one, but I don't know. You sent me this one, but I, I don't know. You, you'll explain it to me. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you uh, tell me old. about this picture. <laughs> oh, well, you see, this one, this one, uh, it, it was an aerial picture, uh, ah, okay. and uh, the fog was uh, was really low. Uh, that one was probably taken about three hundred feet up in the air. Um, wow. And you can't fly in the fog. Uh, you need to be able to see your your drone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this one, I, I there was a hole. It, it was perfect. Uh, I mean, the hole was probably maybe three hundred yards in diameter, and wow. I flew right through it. And man, I saw that, and I was like, "Wow, yeah, that one, that one, I got to do this one." Um, I have another angle. I don't, I don't know if I I couldn't find it. It has windmills. But the windmills, you can see the very tip of the windmills uh, just over the oh, clouds. Oh, going over the clouds? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would have been cool, man, had you sent it to me. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got all this kind of, I mean, you excel in this kind of stuff. Uh, th this one in particular, man, I love this one. I like what you did here uh, with this shot here. Uh, and obviously you're getting some computer work in there as well but oh yes uh but just you know I mean, it, it's hard to photograph one subject uh but to focus on four subjects and they're being mm -hmm. more or less in focus uh or i guess they are in focus I'm, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm just looking at the first one but i'm looking at the distance and yet they are in focus that depth mm -hmm. of field is incredible here See that one uh, is five different shots together, okay. um, and so that one and, and it's kind of funny because a lot of uh, you'll read a lot of reviews on how uh, DGI um, they didn't do such a good job on it takes five images in one click, right? And uh, I mean I trust it. I think a lot of it too is is editing. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So yeah. yeah, I mean I think you know I don't consider myself a a great photographer, if you want to call it one of those. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good at capturing a moment. Right, right. Uh, and then, you know, I could edit anything out of it. Uh, yeah. you know, there's some times where there's a little more shadow, so I'll get rid of the shadow. But this yeah, one, yeah. I, I think this one really shows, or I think this one to me booms. Because it's, it's action, showing the, Yeah, it's, 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 uh, they're working. I mean, these yeah. guys were working from uh, 5 o'clock in the morning uh, and yeah. they worked three days straight. I mean, till I mean, sleep. I mean, man, they were up all night. Yeah, man, and they, and they feed America, man. So the flight yeah. goes perfect, man. It's like wow. Uh, and so you're shooting for that company, and it's like, man, it's wonderful. It's and I made that client. I actually made that client um, working for another one. Um, I got uh, tasked, or I got a, a contract up in um, uh, Ballinger, Texas. Uh -huh. And the um, I, I I wanted a, it was a product and uh, they were doing it. I did a time lapse, six month time lapse, on a, a wheat silo, wow. and uh, the farmer was like, "Hey, can you do that?" But for you know my tractors, um, you know us working, and so I I put a time lapse camera on uh, some cotton, uh -huh. and, you know, uh, and it captured the growth the growth of the cotton. And wow. yeah, I mean, it was about a three week shoot. Uh, ended up coming out beautiful though. Oh, amazing. Yeah. But yeah, ta I mean, job jobs change real quick. I mean, from job to job, they change. Well, yeah, because they see something different. You know what I mean? They see something different. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, let me show you some, something else here. Uh, those of you that are watching us today, this is a photography show at Talk Show Center RTV Style with Royo and Anthony, but uh, you do real estate as well. I mean, well, a lot, all of it's just real estate, I guess, but yeah. it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, you go from house to 2000 yeah. acres to, you know, windmills and, you know, you know, shooting clouds and all of that. And you know what I like about this, you know, you might see something enormous that we just saw and all of a sudden we see something small, but this, this is not a small house, mm -hmm. but I, I love the detail. The sharpness of the picture is there. Uh, you know, it looks pretty. Yep. Well, it looks uh, this really one, welcoming. the the weather actually was uh, yeah. the 
we had tried to schedule the the shoot several times and i was like no it's too cloudy it's too windy uh we're not going to get some good angles because it's and uh the realtor who was really wanting to get onto the market and so i was like all right you know what let's do it uh so we actually captured a storm coming in over in the background yeah and i was able to mess with that uh and um yeah, it ended, up, it ended up coming out beautifully. And the thing that I loved most about this house is when you walk in, I didn't, I didn't uh, really. Yeah, I didn't, you sent me those pictures. <laughs> yeah, it 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 goes into windows, and you can see the backyard right away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, also it's Bellissimo Builders. I think probably one of the best builders uh, in the RGV. <laughs> There you go. They got your plug in. <laughs> no, but it's true. I mean, this is what we want to we want to share stuff like that on our show. You know, information, informations that our viewers want to know. You know, it's mm-hmm. like uh, who best to tell you what a mm-hmm. good builder is if not a photographer? Mm-hmm. Uh, he gets to see uh, stuff that's not finished sometimes. In, you know? Oh yeah, y'all oh, definitely. I. <laughs> And yeah, um, I mean, I'm not going to believe some builders is a good guy. Um, they're, well, they're actually two. Uh, one of them is, uh, you know, is is uh, still part time uh, in, in the business, but he, he's a nurse. Very good guy um, and uh, very attention to detail. I mean, very attention to detail. He goes in there, pays attention to everything, looks at the cracks, looks at the tile, looks at, the, you know, even the caulking of, uh, you know, some some edges. Uh, but th- oh, this one was a beautiful shot. This one, yeah. uh, and this is one of the things that I want to compliment you on. And I've told you before, uh, it's hard to shoot indoors and outdoors at the same time, and mm-hmm. and it being balanced, mm-hmm. you know, and it's balanced. The lighting is very well balanced. It's in focus, mm-hmm. and it looks inviting. It invites me to go outside. Oh yeah. And, and and it allows me to say, I want to sit there and drink my coffee and look at the outside. And if I want to, I want to go sit down mm-hmm. back there on that bench or whatever's out there. But but it it it, 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 it it's like two pictures in one. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like those I, I, pictures. I love, and, and I'll tell you this, I, I'm I I don't know how to explain it. I, I need if the energy isn't right. If the vibe isn't right with the house, if I can't jive or if uh, right. there's a lot of things going on at the moment, uh, I can't shoot very well. Yeah, I yeah, I get focus, you. you know? um, and uh, this one, I was walking through the house, you know, because I prep. Um, right. I get there and, and I prep everything. I start moving stuff around. And I think that's why a lot of, uh, you know, higher end, uh, I say higher end, uh, but, you know, I have a lot of realtors or I shoot for a lot of realtors and right. uh, the realtors that let me do my work, let me do my job. Um, right. I'll yeah. be there maybe 30 minutes just setting up. Yeah. Uh, I'll move furniture around. I'll, I'll ask the, the, the owner of the home if we could move some furniture, if we could, you know, move some, uh, you know, declutter some things. And so like this one, uh, I had to move a few things, uh, but uh, oh, I had to prep the outside too. I moved the, I moved, the chair there purposely uh you know so i could capture it in frame right uh and so uh when they let me do my job this comes out and yeah yeah. well that's part of it i mean nobody you know what i mean going uh was what i was gonna say uh you know yeah this is a photography show and and we're also hopefully we're also going to give you tips on how to photograph and sometimes guys you know I see this all the time. People will be will have uh, pictures of themselves and like the tree branches yeah. coming out of their hands or or you know whatever you know. It's like uh, yeah. you know, and, and I've seen even these wedding pictures and you know it's like they didn't pay. They don't photographers that don't pay attention to details. You know, right. and I was when I was shooting, I was very much into detail. Make sure the collars were there, the the the, mm. the shirt was pulling out of the jacket. You know, if you had couplings that they would show. You know, all those little details because when the product comes out. That's what turns it in. That's what gives it that wow factor, and they buy more, you know, the, enlargements and stuff like that. The but, pet peeve you know, for me these days is uh-huh. your cell phones in the pocket. 
oh, I, I can't stand cell phones in the pocket. Yeah. Everybody has them. They leave them in their front pocket. I'm like, nope, get rid of it. Give it to somebody. Hand it put off. It on, put it in your back pocket or something. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. in real estate, it's toilet seats up. I cannot stand when oh, yeah, people, yeah. They, they leave a toilet seat up or they leave a loaf of bread in the in the kitchen or they leave, you know, something that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and they leave it in the area. Yeah, because it kind of looks dirty. And, and when it, like, like right here, this picture that that we were talking about right now was so clean. Mm-hmm. That, that's, I mean, it's like, like, you know, it, it's just clean. They probably even want to buy it as is, you know, man. Yeah. You know, they put the furniture in there too. You know, <laughs> throw the furniture in, man. I, I love yeah. it. <laughs> and what you see, I use I use HDR photography. Um, I know the biggest thing right now because they want to their home to look like a magazine photo is you know flash photography. Uh, but no. to me, I think I've been able to capture. You know, I've shot everywhere from you know eighty five thousand dollar homes to uh, five point two million dollar homes. I mean, it's uh, the biggest house I've shot right now. Um, it's twelve million dollars. But it's you know of course it's on a ranch, but I mean j- just think about the size, the, the the closet or a closet of this house is twelve hundred square feet alone. Wow! Yeah, I mean it's just it's just crazy. Wow. See, this is a ranch, beautiful yeah. ranch. Uh, yeah, I mean the, that pond is amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that mean, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If uh, that's the uh, what is they call reflection, right? the reflective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And, and it's like, uh, yeah, man, it's cool. The sky looks just right. You know, it's like, you know, buy this house. You're always going to have nice weather. You can come jump in the yeah. pond and, you know, that kind of deal. Just the right amount of trees and, you know. Uh, no, that's cool, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was, this was a beautiful ranch, too. Uh, we caught a lot of wildlife, which, you know, which on the video, I don't, I, I, it's on the video. Right. Um, but there's a lot of wildlife on this uh, shoot. It was a beautiful shoot. I got there. I think we left. I left home around four o'clock in the morning. This was, I believe, eight o'clock uh, in the morning, maybe seven. Oh no! I took the the photo. This was a ranch out uh, in quite a drive. It was past uh, San Isidro. Yeah, um, yeah, it was in that area. So, Amazing, man! Amazing. But that light, it's that lighting. Yeah. Love that morning light. Yeah, it's so cool. But you also shoot other stuff too. Like for instance, here we go. Let me show you this one. Uh, tell me a little bit about this shoot here. Okay, this one I, I love this photo. Uh, this one uh, I shot for a graduate over at Veterans High School. Okay. Um, he just passed his uh, firefighters exam. Uh-huh. Uh, and the reason we were able to get in front of the fire truck uh, was because his dad's a firefighter. Oh, and cooler. so it, it was pretty cool. Uh, I did some other photos of where he's uh, taking photos with, or I took photos of him with his dad. Uh, you know, his dad was throwing up the axe, and you know, his, you know, he showed his son all laughing about it. Right. Um, but I, I, the reason I love this one was because, I mean, the father was proud man he was, he yeah. was proud um you know and so there was that already that environment and so you know like what i said earlier about the energy um you know the energy was right the dad was proud and i mean of course the lighting and everything i was like hey let's turn on the lights let's try to see what we can make it do and uh this came out and um i like it yeah i, I think this is probably one of my best uh, graduate photos yeah, yeah. that i've done uh, and I, I believe we have another one too. Yeah, um, let me show the other one here. Let me let me look for it here because I know they're they're not together. Oh yeah, there it is. Well, there's this one and there is. Hold on, this one is a little smaller, but it's it's cool. Yeah. So again, I, I'm a natural life photographer. <laughs> yeah, in the middle of the street, yeah. you know, stop traffic. <laughs> oh yeah. And so um, the reason I like this one is because um, the sound. I want to really show attitude. I yeah, really yeah. Attitude. And so we had to get there, you know. And I'll, I'll see some random things like, hey, you know what? Let's just pretend there, there's a, you know, somebody's there. Like, whatever, you know. And I like to capture attitude. Uh, a lot of people yeah. they have. Uh, you know, again, energy. Um, 
you know, the the feel of things and the way that, you know, it's shot. I mean, she was proud. Her mom was proud. I mean, I mean, look at her tassel, her, 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 uh, ribbons. I forgot what they yeah, call yeah, them. tassels. I think they're called tassels or ribbons yeah. or no, no. Uh, I, I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, no ropes, no ropes. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, something but, like that. Yeah, she's a very smart girl. But th- um, this is a smart girl because she's got a lot of, you know, educational jewelry there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she does. Um, <laughs> yeah, and like, so, but she she had this this vibe. She had a vibe going. She's very she's very proud. She's very sure of herself. Yeah. And, you know, people don't really display that when they're in front of a camera. And no. They can't because they get, you know, nervous. They get nervous. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, um, yeah, uh, I mean, it, it took me. I mean, it took me a few shots to get that attitude out of her, but we got it. I mean, it, there she goes. It, it and I like the whole background. I like the way the palm trees are kind of hugging her and the, the, mm-hmm. the street and, the, you know, I mean, it looks great. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, uh, uh, attention to detail, you know, mm-hmm. just that, just putting her in the middle of the street, you know, just. Oh, there was a lot of movement. There was a lot of movement. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, you're going places, that kind of yeah. deal. Uh, let, let me show you another one here. I mean, hold on. I saw another one here where, uh, okay, well, here's another one. I can't, hold on. Let me, can we go there? No. Uh, okay. Let me, I think this one, but this one's part of another one, but they just came out this way and we have this one right here. Uh, again, See, this, this one I did, I was working with, uh, elite, uh, sports performance. Uh-huh. And they had a team that, I mean, I mean, they were kicking butt back. Then. You know, I don't know if they still are. I haven't worked with them in a while. Right. Uh, but I wanted to capture that because in 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 my videos, they're they're training. In the videos, they're badasses. In the videos, they're these beasts. Right. Um, and so I wanted to capture the nature of the kid, like because I mean, she's thirteen years old. You know, wow, and, unless she was in high school. Yeah. No, they're, they're 13, 13, 14 years old is what, how old they were. Um, and I wanted to capture that with these photos. Yeah. So I, I thought they came out pretty well. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. yeah. And I see the, the other one I wanted to show you was, where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh, this one right here. One. Uh, yeah, there. Oops. There you go. Now a poster type of picture here. Yes. So those this was are, this is hard to shoot. Yeah, those well, those are actually individually done. Right? That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, those are individually done. Um those were that was an awesome shoot. That that ended up being pretty cool. Um and yeah, uh I mean editing is what I say came into play on this one because I mean they're uh, there, there's a lot of editing in there. <laughs> there's a lot of editing. Plus, uh, what was I going to say here? Just the the pose looks very good. The mm-hmm. overall pose looks very good. It's very well balanced. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I mean, you got the girls doing what they needed to do with you created without without seeing the overall picture. So you had to imagine what the overall picture was. Yeah, and see, and that's what was hard uh, because we had to. Get them to where they're. I, we did uh, four different poses with each, yeah. and as you see, a lot of them are holding the ball, but they're each showing their own personality. They're, right, they're, right. They're holding the they're holding the ball. I'm not one of those like, okay, hold the ball right here. Okay, right. tilt forward two degrees, and then you know yeah. you have those, and those you know there's there's photographers that are great at that. Mm-hmm. Me, I think what I capture is a lot of personality. Yeah. Um, you know, I try to capture who they are just within a couple of clicks. Yeah. Um, and you know, the way they stand, and the way that they takes talent. I yeah. will tell you that that's hard to yeah. do. Uh, no, it's cool. Uh, I like it. Every single shot looks really, really cool because, uh, everybody, most photographers will just say, okay, line up and maybe mm-hmm. not even balance the group. And there, there's no triangles. There's no mm-hmm. diamonds or anything like that. And they just shoot it like that. And, and it looks or, off balance. Well, they're know? all this posed, looks, a, a, you know, yeah, a certain yeah. way. They're and this one posed. looks really, really good. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, man, uh, 16 by 20, man. <laughs> see, like that, the, I see, like, the one on the end, uh, the one where she's kissing the, the – yeah. 
you know, that one, I was like, man, that one mixed really well with everything. I yeah, because, like, she's passing it down. She, you can even yeah. say that she's passing the ball through through everybody. You know, you got some balls down, some balls up, and, you know, it, it's cool, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This one was a lot of work, actually. This one took me it took me a couple days. <laughs> no, no, yeah. it's cool. And, 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 you know, there's 12 girls, you know, it's counting, there's 12 girls, but yet the number one there, uh, even though she's not in the middle, she does look balanced. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, you know, I, I, I had to count, but the way you, 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 the post came out, it's, it looks very balanced. Uh, and so, wow. Excellent. Excellent work, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like it. Uh, I think there was another one of those. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. And there she, here she is, the captain. I, I, I would imagine she's the captain, or maybe yes. she's number one. But there she is. Yeah. Uh, and again, uh, you know, a little bit of you know other things here. Let me let me pull that banner around so that you can see that full. Uh, you know, uh, las chispitas there or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, above her name and that's pretty cool you added some you know the moon and you know clouds and oh, man. Yeah. it's cool. Wait, yeah, and, and a lot of uh, some of this editing comes out from you too you know yeah you, um you know where you're like because you know, i mean you you throw pictures at me like hey what's up with this pose and and yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's a lot of it here too <laughs> yeah 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 no no it, it looks great man it looks great because uh uh it's there. I mean, I mean, you're looking at her, but you're not. Yeah. The, 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 the other thing that I like here, Anthony, is that we're not looking up her nose. Yeah, that's You true. know, <laughs> look, look at this. I, I'm going to go in there. We're not looking up her nose. I mean, yeah. we're not seeing her your nostrils in there. It's mm. really, really cool. And, and yet you're coming, you know, the camera's making you believe that you're shooting from below. Mm hmm you're probably shooting, you know, somewhere in the waist from here and, and then capturing it that way. Yeah, even with, with, a, little, with, a, little, with a little tilt, maybe. Yeah. But uh, but it looks really good. Most, I would say some photographers would have shot this and, you know, we would have seen her nostrils, you know. Oh, yeah. You would have yeah. been able to go a mile into her nostrils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Annabelle, how's it going? Great talent there. Awesome pictures, yes. And Annabelle is an uh, artist. She paints stuff. Uh, and so, yeah, it's the, so yeah, we got people that are, that, you know, uh, other artsy people, they're, they're, they're artists or they do a little bit of photography mm -hmm. and that kind of deal. Um, but you also do people like, uh, for instance, this one, and this is probably, you know, probably some owner of some shop and let's see. What's going on with this one? Talk, talk well, to us about this one here. Yes, uh, this I used to work or I used to do some photography for Inspire Magazine. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this uh, this is a coffee place that I love to go to um, over in Harningen, uh, Girl of All Trades. Uh, but uh, you know, she's a very nice lady. Very, very. You walk in, she's walking in. She's like, "Hey, how are you guys doing?" And yeah. she'll talk to you. I mean, we we've been there just talking to her for about a good 20, 30 minutes. Um, and so, um, I knew her already. I knew her when the shop was over on La Feria yeah. and, um, they moved and, and, you know, of course there was some struggle with the move and, and, you know, everything going on. Um, and the magazine called me and, uh, they said, Hey, we want to do some photos with, uh, uh, girl of all trades. I was like, Oh, Hey, I know them. you know, sure. It's not gonna be a problem. Uh, so, of course, you know, magazines, you know, they, they already go with their, hey, this is what we want to capture. We want to capture the building. Yeah. We want to capture, you know, you know, uh, you know, her with her sister or her with her daughter and stuff like that. But she or I mean, you can already see in the picture. I mean, she throws out an energy. She, she throws yeah. out a very welcoming vibe. Yeah. And uh, that's one thing I wanted to capture. And I yeah. know that this is is, you know, not a pose. It's very recommended, but. Yeah. It fit really well with her. It but really but you know her hand, her and it's all in the attitude. Yeah. So the the attitude sells it, you know, because that is the type of pose you would sell because it's kind of like a proud type of picture, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so yeah, yeah, because I'm big on hands and faces. Yeah, I know. But, I know. But, but, <laughs> but the face looks looks very cool, and the hands kind of look kind of small. Uh, you know. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, but if, you guys, <laughs> if anybody's ever in Harlingen, goat, it, they make great coffee. There uh, you go. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, amazing coffee. I love going there. I, uh, I've learned that I'm not, I'm not bashing Starbucks, but uh, there, there's mom and pop places like uh, Anjalitas. Oh, yeah, Angelitas uh, Casa one. de Café in Brownsville. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Seventh and coffee. Park. Seventh and Park. Seventh and Park, yeah. They don't, they don't have the corporate taste. That's what yes. I call it. They don't have a corporate taste. Yeah. You know, corporate taste, Starbucks. You go over there, you already know how sweet it is. You tell them to water it down. and They do what I, you want to for yeah. you. you, know? <laughs> yeah. you know, and, you know, <laughs> I go to Angelitas and I get the uh, the... the the abuelita, I think is what it's called. The, yeah, or the chocolate type. Yeah, 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 stuff like that. Yeah, they uh, create stuff for you too, you know. So, yeah. so it's it's good, you know. It, it's really really a good deal. Are you still uh, back home? You still uh, have home? I, I've been really busy to where I don't have time to no. go there, man. <laughs> I have not been there in a while. I yeah. used to do chess lessons there, working a while, but you know, with COVID, I've been doing uh, more at the library and more online actually yeah. you know i know i know i know he's real proud about being uh, close to retirement i know oh, that. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> oh, i think yeah he's he's ready he's ready he's been yeah. ready for a while you know <laughs> yeah. all right so let me show you this one here uh there you go so tell oh. me about this one let me just open it up here so we'll yeah. see a little bit more of it so this one is at the school that i work at um okay. i work over at texas southmost college uh -huh. And I am their safety instructor slash forklift instructor slash rigging instructor slash we're going to go on. If we go on, it's going to be yeah, yeah, yeah. too much. Anyway. <laughs> so, but but uh, you train gentlemen and ladies, I'm sure, uh, yeah. to, to get high paying jobs in the work field, you know, like in the. Yeah. You know, the, the, you know, you're not training them to go to an office or bankers. Yeah, you're. They're gonna go get dirty. They're gonna be well. Oh, yeah. or, or what? They're gonna. What are they gonna do? Uh, uh, basically, just handle anything that has wheels on them. Basically. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I mean, they do uh, welding. They do plumbing. They do electrical. Okay. Uh, you know, anything of that sort. Uh, and what we do also is, you know, we job place. We've been pretty successful on it. Right. Um, and you know, we, we've ran into a lot of companies that, you know, I mean, they're, they're not willing to pay as much, but we look for jobs and whether it's here or out of state or, or out of town, right. um, you know, we find them jobs. Uh, but this one, uh, they were coming in and testing. I see. And I'm, I'm more than sure if you look around at all these welding sites and welding, uh, billboards, they all have the same blue picture. Um, and it's, it's the guy with the shield and it's blue, uh, and he's just looking down at the weld. Um, but I like doing my own shots. Yeah. And yeah, of this course. Is, this you, is what you have to do. You have to go outside of the box, you know, you yeah. have to do something different and that's I, what it makes, gives it that wall factor. Yeah. And that's why cu customers are calling you because you do something different. They're used to the same, you know, yeah. it's yeah. like, you, you, you know. Yeah. Uh, this one, this one is one of three, I believe. Um, I, I didn't send all three. This one was my favorite, yeah. though. Yeah. Uh, and, and I love, I, I mean, the working class. I mean, the, everybody that goes out there wants to sweat because this is not an easy job. No, no, it's no, not. No. Good I mean, paying job, me, though. Just but... me working in the booth or taking pictures of the booth, I felt it <laughs> coming off from that. You know, I was like, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Poor camera, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? I ruined the lens doing a welding shoot one time because I didn't know that those beads could cause damage. Yeah, uh, they cause damage to one of my uh, to lenses. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that would, I think that's one of my best working photos. Wow! Uh, let, let, uh, I mean, after seeing that, let me show you this. But and this is why I say after seeing that, let me show you this. But it's a great shot, but. It's like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, Boy, I mean, but but if you look at it, uh, okay, I, I'll, I'll criticize it. I mean, again, the amazing balance and the detail that's mm -hmm. there, and yeah. and and that's why they go to you because you know uh, somebody else would have probably shot it from the ground, mm -hmm. uh, or somebody else would have shot the front of it, and you know. 
and that would have been it, you know, a picture of the front that, you know, let's, yeah, whatever, you know, maybe somebody, uh, let me, let me, let me see if I can crop this. Yeah. Somebody would have shot it like that, you know? Yeah. That, that's what, they, that's what you would have gotten from mm -hmm. some other photographer right there, right there, right there. I, I, I planned on going or, or, out. Or, or, or even you would have gotten yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Actually, you know, like, like, uh, I would say like a portrait photographer would probably give you something like this because mm -hmm. we're used to cropping stuff down and taking, getting rid of all the, uh, all the X's. But it, it, when you're talking about landscaping and you're talking about what's going on, you know, mm -hmm. you want the, uh, the rest of the details so you can and see the light. Like, where is this place at the lighting and, you know, is it safe? You know, is there parking spaces, you know, uh, you know, Whenever it is, you know, I mean, uh, yeah. Hey, they, op they open at 7 o'clock in the morning. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, do they have a drive through I think they have a drive through because there's this drive back here, so I don't know if it gets... No, they some... have uh, parking. It's additional ah, okay. parking. Okay. Uh, but if you look at the bracket, the building in the back, there's a building in the back that with the brackets. This one right here? Yeah, you see those little brackets right there? Uh-huh. So I helped them. Uh, they they called me because they wanted to, you know, revamp on their their marketing. Uh, <laughs> so I took pictures of their plates. I took pictures of their you know their top selling plates. Uh -huh. And now if you go there to this restaurant, they'll be there. They'll be right there, and, and you'll wow. see the photography. Like one of them is a uh, uh, chicken fried steak, <laughs> and then they have an omelet with avocado and everything. But um and i purposely went early because that is a very you know it's heavy traffic in that area and yeah, I, I, was in, I was flying over uh was it loop uh or 77 yeah and it, it's 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 pretty it gets pretty crazy there uh so that's why it's it, it was done in the morning uh because i wanted yeah. to make sure i got a good angle uh without you know putting my drone over you know right. 40, you know flowing cars so definitely man uh, let's see what else is what else do we have here? Uh, I, oh, I, I forgot to do. Here, I'm going to show you a couple of shots here. We, we we saw this one already, but I did not share the rest of them. Uh, we saw this one, and this one was really cool, right? We let me go big on this. Let me go large on this. The, we saw this one, and this one was pretty cool. But look at the follow up on this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I love that one. Uh, I mean, it, it's wow. Yeah, and you don't have to show the whole thing. You, and that's one thing I've always learned. It is because somebody else would have put the tractor or whatever that, that contraption, they would have put mm -hmm. it in the middle of the board. Or again, they would have done something like, like, like maybe, maybe something like this or, mm -hmm. or you know, maybe something like that, you know. Close up, you know. This is where you can tell I'm a landscape photographer, though. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, but but you know, it's showing action and what this machine does, mm -hmm. and you know what it's capable of doing. It takes care of acres and acres of farmland, and and yeah, uh, it tells a story. Yeah, it, it, it tells the you know whoever's gonna buy this contraption. Hey, you know what? This yeah, that's what, yeah. <laughs> that's what I need. Yeah, that's what I need. And 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 it's just details, wheels, and you know how. You know. This is the thing with those. Uh, these, uh, I'll I'll be out there. I mean, two days, three days, and I'll be I'll just be flying around these things forever. But um, you know, I grew up on uh, forty acres, and these tractors used to roll in and out all the time. And as yeah. a kid, as a kid, man, I would be freaking like right there and riding my bike next to them and all this other stuff and waving at the farmer. Uh, but, and so now I, I, when I got up there, I mean, here I am, you know, 30, you know, 37 years old. And I asked him, can I get inside? He's like, Oh yeah, sure. So I'm inside like, Oh my God, I find you one of these. It's, it's, <laughs> and then this one, this is the sister or uh, of the, the first shot yeah. of this one. Mm-hmm. Right, but yeah. but it's it's a different angle, and it's again, you know, I mean, it's amazing, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this one also has the truck because they're you know stuff is landing on the truck. Yeah, they're downloading. Wow. And, and uh, there's a video on it if people want to see the video on my on my Facebook page, and that one came out awesome. 
So. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Guys, let me put in some banners here. Yeah, again, this is Anthony Medina. He's a photographer. Uh, he's with 4040 Advertising. This He's in Harlington. That's his phone number if you want to call him. Uh, 512-920-8687. Uh, you know, Anthony is a veteran. Uh, so, hey, you, you would be giving work to a veteran. And, you know, uh, there's his email, 4040 Advertising. But it's not a misprint. It's not a misprint. It's yeah. actually a Z in there. And so, yeah. Or you yeah. can go to his website, you know, there. And, uh, yeah, I go everywhere. I, I shoot everywhere. So if, if somebody knew of somebody that needed real estate photography over in Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, anywhere, um, I shoot all over Texas already. So, um, yeah, give me an, ex uh, uh, an excuse to uh, drive away from the valley for a moment. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. And, and then uh, let's see what else. I got another picture here that's going to be a little bit uh, this one, man. I, and I think I, I think maybe this was part of that other shoot, but or, or maybe some action from it. Uh, this was cool. Oh, this one was uh, when I was working over at Brownsville ISD. They have a firefighters program. And, oh, okay. uh, of course, I mean, I, I love fire, and, and I like I said, I love the hardworking man, um, and I caught it in action. And this one, man, it was hot. Uh, <laughs> I didn't spend too much time there. It was really throwing out some heat. Um, how they stay in there is beyond me. I would never do that in my life. No. Uh, <laughs> there's two things I don't want to do is burn to death or drown. <laughs> yeah. And that's one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I thought that awesome was uh, that shot was awesome. Uh, yeah. The fire and everything. Uh, if people could feel the heat from an image, I think this would be it because it was it was pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, I see myself like you're really cold. You're going like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> worry up, worry up. It actually was a cold day too. It uh, was a cold day. So, uh, you know, where was it? I was looking for another one, pictures here. Or, uh, where is it? Uh, I'm looking for it because, uh, well, let me, here, let me show you a couple more pictures here. Uh, so here we go. So this one you shot of BISD, yeah, some, some, I, I don't know what building yes. it is. Ah, this is, where is this at? This one's over by the college. This one's right by the. Um... Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, did you see the river back there or the Ristaka? Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, they were looking for some new pictures. Uh, and so, if you look very closely, I actually edited the whole parking lot uh, or the parking, you know, the yellow and all the red. <laughs> that's, uh -huh. that's something I see. That's something I always pay attention to. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, because I know if I drove up, like, look at the road. And that's all edited. Um, all of yeah. these little, all yeah. this yellow. Yeah. And it makes sense. But, uh, yeah, I did this one, man, three years ago. Uh, and this one ended up, uh, they were looking for some uh, new pictures for their website. And that's what I did for this one. Wow. No, again, again, very, very cool. Very, very sharp. And, uh, just like the right a, angle, too. Oh, it's yeah. I, I right angle well. Because uh, you're not too high. You're not too low. And you know you're looking in. I mean, you're shooting like you're you're walking in the door. You know, in the sense, you know, you yeah. you, you can see the, the door that's there. And it's, I, I always try to show a path. Yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah, that's, that's that's what it is. It's a path. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. When whenever I shoot real estate, um, uh, you know, or or buildings like this, commercial buildings, I always try to show the path because I want them to feel like, oh, you know what? I would love to go there. You're like, oh, I would take that path, or I would walk through that door. Yeah, um, and so that's that's the one thing that I really try to because I walk all over the front of the building. I I try to see which is the best angle, and I mean this is where that's where I parked it right there. And, and you got lucky with the flax just being just the right, you know, because that would have been hard too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and then you know, speaking of you know, you're talking about lining and stuff. You shot this uh, here. Yeah, um, this one is actually off of 77. Um, I was at my office uh -huh. and uh, a storm came in. And of course, you know, like I said earlier, I, I love lightning. And that just ended up 
uh, showing right across the road or across the expressway. And that's why you see the lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they produce all this light. And it's oh, like yeah. Really, really cool. Yeah, that, I believe that was a 30 second delay. Uh, wow. a, lot of, a lot of action. So cool. Uh, and yeah. th- th- this is from that. That let me open this up and put it on the big frame here. Uh, but again, you're 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 taking pictures of the ranch, and mm-hmm. you know, again, maybe another photographer would have shot it from the ground. Mm-hmm. Would have shot oh. this one from the ground, you know. And but you're 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 shooting this where you're part of the action. Yeah. You know, you could yeah. be riding a horse behind these guys, and you know, you know. You're in the roundup or whatever that is, you know. Oh, like, it, it, uh, this one is actually off of. Uh, well, this was a picture that I was, uh, was I took while I was uh, shooting video, uh, but this one was uh, to show, of course, Legacy Ranch Consulting. Um, the the individual, what or the my client, what he does is he uh, you know helps out in the balance of uh, cattle. Or, you know, he goes out and you're like, okay, you know what? We're having a grass issue or, you know, your, your cat or your cattle's not having the right, uh, you know, amount of food. Uh, mm. So we'll, you know, separate them. And so if you notice all the cattle, they're all the same size. Yeah. They're all there. And so that's what he does. He regulates the, uh, or normalizes the, uh, the balance of your herds. Wow. Uh, so instead of having, you know, calves, you know, baby calves, you know, three month calves, six month calves. Uh, they're all, you know, born at a certain time or within the same uh, week. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's he's really good at that. Uh, and so right. this one, they herded them up. They uh, gave them all their injections or their antibiotics and their branding and everything. Got them ready for the ranch. Uh, that uh, it was uh, three days. Three days of shooting. Wow, amazing! So. That's pretty cool, man. Ah, uh, we saw this one already. Let me let me pull that one out. Uh, I wanted to show you another one, but I don't know where it's at. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, yeah, yeah. Here, here we go. Uh, it was it was right next door. Uh, and then we we'll go the other way. But this one's really cool too, because I like the sky. The sky oh. is so cool here. You this see one that lightning actually... coming down. <laughs> it's Laferia. Uh, that one, uh, I, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about the two pecan trees. There uh, you go. Oh, the <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a beautiful. That, oh, was, look, there's more. Yeah, this one. Oh, I thought it was just coming down from here, but there, oh, I just saw this up here. And then you see the one going across the top. Over here on top yeah. somewhere? Yeah, you see that one right there. It goes all the way up to my name. Oh, okay. Wow. But uh, yeah, this one's right in the oh, yeah, 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 look, you can you can follow the line here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, uh, if every, I mean, everybody drives past Laferia and sees those two pecan trees, um, that one is is is, is right there on that spot. <coughs> wow. No, that, that's too. cool, man. And of course, uh, you know, <laughs> you, you got a pit as well. Hey, Gabriel, how's it going? You doing all right, Gabriel? Gabriel's a, actually, Gabriel's a photographer too. Uh, yeah. He's an artist, uh, but he does, he does some work in photography mm-hmm. as well. He works with models and stuff like that. It's right. pretty cool. Pretty cool dude. Uh, but, you know, you, you, you got yourself a real well, pretty, pretty model here. Yeah. So <laughs> this one is actually a funny story. Uh, my wife was pregnant with our first child. <laughs> oh, it's an old, old one. And yeah. So uh, I you know, I don't like using uh, telescopic lenses or uh, right. I, don't, I like being up close and personal with the thing. Yeah, but and no so way you're going to be personal I with would, this. I, I was creeping up to it. I was in the pro position and I was creeping up to it. And I, I get a click and I get closer. So I take more pictures as I get closer. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I told my wife, I was like, hey, Amy Cell. <laughs> you see, she already knows. <laughs> uh, I told her, I was like, hey, I'm going to put my foot up. So if it comes at me, just pull me. <laughs> and so, yeah, hey, I got real close. You got really close, man. You can, no, yeah. man, look at that. Yeah, I was real close. I think I was a 24 millimeter lens. Uh, I yeah, was right yeah. up there. 
I was right up oh, there. Oh, with a 24 millimeter lens and you saw yeah. and you and you got this close? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I was I was close. <laughs> How many babies were there? Yeah, there was about 16. There was about 16. It was a pit. And the uh-huh. thing that and this is what I think. This is just my think my opinion. Uh, you know, if you if you uh, notice all the reports of all these little alligators, I believe is what they are. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think that we shot a pit that you know produced a lot of those because this one's over in uh, Laguna and no, the one over in Bayview. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's where I took it at, and oh, um, yeah, it was a huge pit. I mean, a huge pit of them. Um, and then we hear, you know, four or five years, or three, four years later that, oh, well, hey, uh, there's a lot of, you know, alligators. Alligators. there's a lot yeah. of signs of them. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I really do ca- feel that we captured them when they were babies. You capture, you, you, <laughs> it's Anthony's fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, that one, I love getting up and close with it. Uh, Michelle was freaking out. Um, and later I find out that those things move really fast when they're, when they're pissed off. So oh, yeah, 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 like, yeah. I, nope. I wouldn't get close to one of those. <laughs> and of course, yeah. uh, hold on, hold on. I hit the wrong button here. And of course, uh, you know, who doesn't, who doesn't shoot a, uh, Ferris wheel? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, this one was in Harlingen again. Uh, yeah, I was coming out by, of- some, uh, by the value ball, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. coming out from target. Uh, yeah. And I was like, oh, man, that'd be cool. And this was actually one of my first delayed exposures. Yeah, that looks really cool. I, I took a couple of pictures, but, you know, like after our chess lessons during the day, and I said, man, I, in fact, I was I was meant to call you to so see you could go to take pictures of this because I know this would look really cool at night, and you, you mm-hmm. were able to do that, man. Because uh, yeah. uh, that really, you know, uh, you know, it's just uh, – the Ferris wheel and this other rides that just pop, man. It's yeah. so, so pretty. Yeah. I, I love, uh, I love delayed photography. Um, yeah. or delayed exposure photography. A- any moon shots? Did you take any pictures of the red moon? No, no. <laughs> Funny. Like, uh, I, I'm one of those that tries to stay away from what everybody does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm the same. I was the same way, man. My own no, I mean, it's beautiful. I love the, there's this one camera or this one uh, uh, telescope yeah. that does photography. It's a Mead. It's a Mead telescope. And that's on my wish list because when, when uh, it comes to photography, this was okay. Funny. This was actually one of my first shots that really put me into the market. Yeah. Um, I shot that, man, I'd say five, six years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, a lot of people on the island started sharing this. Um, this was one of my first shots uh, that, like I said, actually made it uh, to uh-huh. the public area or the public eye. Uh, got a lot of recognition for it. I actually had people you know, wanting to buy the image. Yeah, um, yeah. And well, you, so, you can sell this stock, stock photography, man. Yeah, that would be great. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I think uh, God for that picture because that one I was at the bay. Uh, they were the birds were acting right because a, a lot, most of the time they're oh, yeah. they really are. Uh, and the, and, and the, the way they were grouped, also, the yeah. I mean, really, really well. The way they were grouped, and uh, I mean, they were good, good models. Mm-hmm. Oh, they were. <laughs> they really were. <laughs> they were great models, man. And, oh, amazing. Uh, but yeah, this one I could say would be my first big, you know, I guess release. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So, man, very cool work, dude. Uh, it is. Uh, did I show? I, I think I want to say, yeah, I think I showed them all. I think there was another one here, but I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, this one. This one. This is the 440 uh, deal. But uh, I think you were you were out there doing some fishing, or you went out yes. there. Yes, um, I've just recently started doing fishing videos, um, uh, and so this one, I mean, the video was, ended up being a big hit in the fishing community. Um, you know, because people love that splash; they they want to capture that splash and the, uh, you know, see that splash when they're fishing. Um, and uh, that's you know ended up being one of the shots, but uh, the videos are on my YouTube, 
uh, and also my my uh, Facebook page. Uh, awesome video. Uh, I I did this one shot where for about thirty seconds. I mean, you just saw the reflection of the sky onto the bay, and it was just glass. Beautiful. I mean, it was just gorgeous. Wow. So, yeah. No, man, this is cool stuff, Anthony. You know. And, and you have other stuff. Too bad you didn't send me any videos, you know, because that would have been cool. I see some of your videos where, you know, you're just part of it. But I, I like the way you do videos of homes. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. And it's like, you know, maybe next time. Uh, I'll fly my drones inside the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe put a couple of videos of some of those home videos, you know, where, I mean, you literally feel like you're actually walking through the yeah. through the house. And it's really Really cool the way mm -hmm. Anthony puts that together, man, because it's it's a really cool deal. But hey, so yeah, uh, uh, quick. Uh, any last words, Anthony? Man, this is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, I and I don't know. Uh, um, I mean, to people who are looking to get into photography, it's easy. Uh, you just gotta. I, I've I've told myself, and and if if the position you're in. <laughs> feel stupid take that picture and and the reason i say that is because there's angles i think i think that's what makes the the, the shoot or the the photo more yes. or pop it, it's it's a different angle yes um you know i've taken pictures from the grass to where it shows more grass mm -hmm. than the actual top but it's it's a different perspective um it really is um always zoom in you know, if you're not going to zoom in, uh, you know, when you're taking the picture, zoom in when you're, when you're, uh, you know, editing, when you're really bringing out that, you know, it brings out a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people have lost, uh, oh, they, because they pick up their phone, take a picture. And a lot of people have lost touch with what's in front of them. Uh, right. They just take a picture and it shows 50 people. All right, let's get it on. Yeah. Or they take a picture and it shows all background and, a, you know, a person in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just zoom in and you see the difference. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely. Uh, and, and if you're photographing children, please shoot at their level. Don't shoot them yeah. from above. Now you have these big old heads and the little feet, you know, Don't that kind of deal. You know, picture. get to the kids' level. Get to the subject's yeah. level, you know, that kind of deal. Um, uh, you know, when you're shooting a group, make sure you can see all their faces before you actually take the shot, you know. And make sure they're not blinking as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah take uh, about you know, but I, I came in. I mean, I came in with a, a $300 camera. Um, and you know, I was, you know, I was, you know, bored at home. I wanted a, a camera to take pictures of Delaney. Yeah. Um, and so I've been shooting as long as Delaney. I mean, so Delaney's going to be turning seven. So I've been shooting for almost seven years. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, my business started with that <clears throat> and, uh, here we are seven years later, almost. Um, I've driven or I've, I've worked all over Texas. I've, you know, Oklahoma and New Mexico, um, uh, you know, and, and we're expanding. Um, uh, I have, I did a photo shoot, uh, up in, I mean, I was just trying to see what I could do up there. Uh, but I took some photos of a place over in, uh, Wisconsin and wow. hey, oh, yeah, yeah. you went up there for a wedding, right? Yeah. And so if, if all goes well, you know, she says, Hey, you know, we'll share your information. So, Hey. If, yeah, yeah. if we do that, we're a nationwide company. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, because, you know, uh, unfortunately, a lot of photographers are shuttle books. You know, they, they just mm -hmm. shoot, but they don't create, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and so that's what happens. And, you know, uh, and, and yeah, you, you, you got to give that wow. Yeah factor because that yeah. would that's what gets you the clients you know yeah. uh if the picture don't look natural it, there's something missing it, it, mm -hmm. it, the technique most photographers have really great technique mm -hmm. but it's you know sometimes the picture does not look natural the, oh, yeah. you're working um, with models the model doesn't look natural yeah. or the feet are awkward or or like you know maybe the head's tilted in, the, in mm -hmm. a way that it's just not natural or you see the vein popping mm -hmm. out or See, like my like I have a, I have a lot of competitors uh, I really do and, and they have I mean I think they have um, better quality than I do but what I think puts me because I've had clients leave to them yeah. and then they come back uh, yeah. and the thing that my my clients always say is that I do I I have more creative shot my yeah. my shots different it's a different angle 
you know, I come in from with my drone over the trees, come onto the path, and then fly the drone right into the home. So that's what that's what makes me different. Right, right. Uh, but I mean, I, I, it's it's a competitive field. It really is. Yeah, uh, yeah. You got to create something that's yeah. not there, uh, and make it and me and then make it your signature. Uh, whatever, and, and every every single shot, you're, you're only as good as your last shot. When you're a photo- when you're a photographer, you 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 gotta constantly. If you're you're into modeling, you constantly have to create new poses. You gotta mm-hmm. create new new looks, and you know, and some in some cases, you gotta go back to the to the greats, you know, and, yeah. and maybe even study a little bit of posing because, uh, believe it or not, models don't know how to pose. No. And, right. and, yeah. and a lot of the stuff that's out there is uh, they're imitating somebody that made a pose and it got a lot of likes, and, but it's not a good pose, you know. Yeah. Or and, for them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, one thing that I mean, one thing that I've, I've always uh, and the reason I like to keep things natural and natural light. Um, I don't know if you uh, like during the Renaissance time, uh, there is an artist. His name was uh, Rembrandt Van Rien. Yeah. Uh, and he was, he's not the light photographer. I, I had this discussion with my wife <laughs> <laughs> or not the light artist, but, or, uh, but what he would do is he'd put a candle next to the, the, the subject mm-hmm. and he would paint the subject as the, the candle was going onto their face. Right. And that's one thing I, I think is really nice and awesome about photography is that you can keep it natural. You can keep it hundred percent natural. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what really captures, uh, any subject that you're shooting. Uh, just a natural light or a natural pose. And that's why, you know, if you go onto my page, I didn't give you a lot of portrait photography, but they're laughing there. I mean, cause I said some fart jokes. You yeah, know, yeah, I, said yeah. peekaboo. I put my head over the camera and said peekaboo, you know, it's just yeah, yeah. You know, those moments that I like. You got to create the expression because yeah. that's the key expression. You know, yeah. uh, I, I, they were, they were used to ask me, you know, what's the deal with modeling? And I go, it's not about beauty. It's about expression. It's about attitude. And, and yeah, there's posing and yeah, there's beauty and all that. But if you can't capture those two, you know, that model's not going to have a shot at getting a job. Exactly. You know, as as it is, sometimes when when those are you know photographers that want to work with models and, and mm-hmm. want to get their work out there to uh, uh, a, a modeling agencies, there's somebody sitting there at the desk and they're just flipping through it. And if they turn around, your picture just went by, boom, right. and they missed. It. You know, it's it, it's hard really to get in there. Uh, but I'll a lot of times, modeling can... agencies, if they want to work with you, man, they take care of everything. Yeah. Uh, so I, I know some photographers don't like me to say stuff like that, but yeah. you know, it's true. You know, I, I used to work in the industry and it's, 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 it's a different animal, you know, quite yeah. frankly when it's out there, you know? Yeah. Where all you got to do is just go in there and take pictures and then leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but I also cool. give classes to realtors too. Yeah. Um, I give classes because, you know, I, I know they don't want to spend, you know, a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks on a photo shoot. Uh, so what I'll do is um, I'll give them a class on how to take pictures with their phone. And they're like, with your phone? I was like, yeah. I mean, ah. you, you just zoom in. You got to pick the right angle. Walk around the room a little bit. See which one is more welcoming than uh, than the next. Uh, you know, I tell them, you know, when you walk into a room and, you know, and there's bar stools, turn those bar stools out. You know, because it, it shows you like, hey, you know, come in, take a seat. Yeah, you know, yeah. Stuff like that that sells a house more than anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and the doors, people like seeing doors open. Uh, or, yeah, you know, not a lot closed. Of that, yeah. Because a, a closed door, it, it, it's actually a wall. Exactly. You know, and, and a wall. door open, it, it creates a, a, you know, the eye, the eye always looks at, you know, you look at the picture and you mm-hmm. look at the action within the picture and, and, and the eye will follow the action, mm-hmm. you know. That's why you never take a picture like on the edge, like for instance here, and you look this way because all of a sudden, you know, your eyes is looking at me and mm-hmm. you're following my eyes and my eyes are looking up outside mm-hmm. of the frame, but you're missing all of these details. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, yeah. And so a lot of it has to do with the flow of the picture and all yeah. of that, you know. Yeah. So, if, so yeah, if anybody's wanting to t- get their, if anybody's a realtor or broker and wants to give classes, I do that as well. Uh, I don't charge for the classes. I don't. Uh, and, and, and the thing is, a lot of people realize that it, it's a lot of work. Um, yep. And, and you know, they try it. A lot of my realtors have, have admitted to, hey, you know, I was trying this. I did this. And, 
man, it's a lot of work. And how do you do it? I was like, I don't, it's, it's just comes natural now. I go into a house, I'll start doing stuff before I even say hi to the clients. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I'll go in and start taking clicks. And uh, yeah, we're, we're already done. And they're like, oh, wow, you're done. I was like, yeah, it, I, it doesn't take long anymore. I go in 15, 30. Yeah. Uh, if it's a bigger house, you know, an hour, uh, two hours. I mean, it just all depends. Yeah. Uh, and then they have yeah. a swimming pool or you know whatever you know three car garage or you know throw a car in there move a car around you know? <laughs> I I no you're fine but so okay well great man yep. Anthony man it was great you being here are, are you did you freeze out on me now <laughs> you made it through an hour and then your your you, 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 your your internet only had an hour charge. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Give it a kick. <laughs> oh my goodness! So, guys, if you are looking for somebody to photograph your house, your ranch, uh, you know, senior portraits, you know, any 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 portraiture work, you know, that kind of deal, call Anthony. Call Anthony. Here we go. Uh, he's the he's the man. You know, he does good work. Uh, there's other photographers as well, you know, so, uh, but when, when it comes to doing a lot of the different type of work, man, this guy's the, the guy to go to. So anyway, I think we lost Anthony. So man, you know, we're going to call it a night guys. We had a great time with our, with our, uh, with our show. And, oh, here he goes. Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, oh, we're going to be finishing it up, Anthony. Thank you for coming, Anthony. Great. Right. Uh, man. Uh, hey, you lasted the whole hour. <laughs> yeah. You're awesome, man. We'll talk to you soon. Let's have some lunch right, sometime. Right. Right, bye bye. Hey, well, this is Roy with Talk Show Central RTV Styles. I'm telling you, good night. Abrazos, besitos, and we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow morning on the Monday Bronx with Hilda. And then also, I'm going to be do, doing the uh, uh, Passion at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to have a uh, guest from uh, another guest joining me in. Uh, then on Tuesday, we have the insurance show with Victor and Hernandez from State Farm. And on uh, Wednesday, we have Donnie coming in. She's going to do some music with us. On Thursday, guys. We have Chris Rodriguez Tejano, a Hall of Famer, coming in, and it's going to be fun, guys. We're going to have a fun week of shows. You guys are amazing. So, adios.